Listen carefully, because what I'm about to tell you isn't motivation. It's manipulation, not of others, but of your own mind. You see, your brain is not against you. It's just lazy. It doesn't care about your dreams, your goals, or your exams. It only chases one thing, pleasure. And right now, that pleasure comes from your phone, your comfort, your distractions. But what if you flip the script? What if your brain started craving that same pleasure from studying? What if your mind begged you to open your books the same way it begs you to open your notifications? Because the truth is, your brain can be trained. It doesn't know the difference between what's good or bad. It only knows what gives it a hit of dopamine. So instead of fighting your brain, you learn how to trick it. Imagine this, you sit to study and your heart races, your focus sharpens, your mind starts craving more knowledge, more progress, like an addiction you can't quit. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to rewire your brain. So studying becomes not a task, but a high. So stay locked in because after this, your brain will never be the same again. Let me tell you something your teachers never told you. Your brain isn't lazy. It's trained to chase easy rewards. Every scroll, every click, every next video gives you a tiny dopamine hit. And every time you give in, your brain learns one thing. This is pleasure. This is reward. So when you open your book, when you try to study, your brain doesn't feel excitement. It feels pain because studying gives no instant reward, no color, no sound, no likes, no rush. But what if you could rewire that? What if you could make your brain fall in love with focus the same way it loves distraction? Here's how it works. Step one, anchor pleasure to progress. Each time you finish a small topic, reward yourself, but don't do it mindlessly. Look at the progress, breathe in deeply, and tell your brain, this feels good. I want more. Repeat it until your brain starts linking focus with pleasure. It's simple conditioning, the same trick social media uses on you. You're just turning it against them. Step two, visualize your results like it already happened. Before you study, close your eyes. See yourself remembering everything easily. See yourself writing your exam confidently. Feel the relief and power of finishing strong. Your brain doesn't know the difference between real and imagined success, so you make it believe you're already addicted to studying. Step three, micro dopamine. Don't wait for big results to feel proud. Create tiny wins, a page read, a problem solved. Every small victory triggers dopamine and your brain starts chasing that again and again. That's how addiction begins, repetition plus reward. But here's the dark truth. Your brain will resist. It'll whisper, not today. It'll tell you to scroll one more time, take one more break, delay a little longer. That's not you. That's your old programming fighting back. And every time you ignore it, every time you sit down anyway, you starve your old identity. You weaken that lazy version of you and feed the one who's hungry for growth. Because every study session you finish isn't just about your books. It's you proving you're in control now. So don't fight your brain. Train it. Feed it new habits, new pleasures, new rewards. Let it crave learning the way others crave attention. That's the real mind hack. Turning focus into your favorite drug. And when that happens, studying stops being a chore. It becomes a game. A game your brain can't stop playing. Now listen, your brain has already started to change. Because the moment you reach this part of the video, your focus won. That small voice that told you to skip, you ignored it. That's proof. You're not the same person you were 10 minutes ago. Right now, your brain is rewiring itself. It's remembering that focus feels good, that learning feels powerful, that progress feels addictive. So here's the challenge. Tomorrow, when you sit to study, don't wait for motivation. Just whisper these words, greater than, my brain loves this. Say it once and watch what happens. Because the more you repeat it, the deeper it gets, until studying becomes the thing you crave. Now I want you to prove it. Right here, right now. Comment below. I control my mind. Let your brain see it. Let your eyes read it. Let your subconscious believe it. Because from this moment, you're not fighting your brain anymore. You're training it. And soon, you won't need motivation at all. You'll just want to win.